All right, so um, in your notes you have um, this write-up. So this is uh, the cover-up method for solving partial fractions. We can use this method when the denominator is a product of linear factors. In other words, so once we factor that denominator, we have um, two linear factors, we can use this cover-up method. So what I'm going to ask you to do is um, pause the video, read through this this example, and then we're going to kind of talk through that example. I'm just going to do it um, sort of by hand so you can see the thought process and see the actual um, uh, processing that's going to happen as, as I solve that problem. So go ahead and pause the video, read through those notes, and then start back up. Okay, so the problem we were presented with is we want to take 3x over x minus 1 times x plus 2 and decompose it into its partial fractions. All right. So if I want to know the numerator that goes with the x minus 1 term, I'm going to cover over the x minus 1 and I'm going to let x equal 1. I'm going to let x equal um, I'm going to let x equal the value that would make this denominator equal to 0. All right. So then I'm going to take what's left and evaluate it at x equals 1. So here I have 3 times 1 is 3 over 1 plus 2 is 3. So that's 1. That's my numerator. All right. I'm going to do the same thing for x equals 2, but now I'm going to let x equal negative 2, because that's what it would make this denominator equal to 0. And then I substitute negative 2 in here, so I get 3 times negative 2 over negative 2 minus 1. So that gives me negative 6 over negative 3, and that's equal to 2. And that's the cover-up method. Right? So this expression here decomposes into partial fractions that look like that.